So what do you do if you can't get tested before gathering with friends and family this weekend? News 12's Tama Ponton continues our team coverage tonight with that. Tama. Well, Macy, we are here in Huntington where we came to talk to people about their holiday plans and doctors say if you plan on spending your holidays with people that you don't live with and you can't get tested, they say your actions and the actions of others today and over the next couple of days will determine whether you stay safe and healthy. Just I think out of um, caution, we're all just staying home and staying put. I think that people should do what they're comfortable with. People we spoke with in Huntington say they plan to keep their holiday gatherings small and only invite people they've already been spending time with. Just immediate family, just two or three other people, but that's just my mom and my brother. The director of the CDC says it's the unvaccinated who remain the most vulnerable to COVID-19. And if possible, you should consider gathering with family and friends who are also following similar prevention measures. Holiday gatherings and risk of travel really has less to do with the airplane or car ride and much more to do with how people from different households behave in the weeks to days before meeting up. Earlier today on the new normal, Dr. Hugh Kassiri with Northwell Health said if you're feeling sick and haven't been tested, you are better off not gathering with others. And he advises practicing what he calls the three C's. Stay out of closed spaces with poor ventilation, stay away from crowded places and stay away from close contact. It's really scary, but that's just the facts, unfortunately. The people we spoke with say they plan to do all they can to stay safe during the holidays. I'm just staying locally and at home. I'm not traveling. Well, Tama, how long should those who are isolating wait until they can be back with others? Well, Macy, the advice here from the CDC is this, that you should be fever free for 72 hours without having to take any medication and that those other symptoms that you had, like maybe a cough, those should be gone for about a week and then it's safe for you to come out. But still remember to continue to social distance. Macy, Rich.